earlier in the week, I asked the question, have beer reviews seen their day on YouTube? And the only way to answer that is to do a beer review. Here, I've just got a few things. Hello again and welcome back to Scott Review Things. How you doing? Hope you're all keeping really well. Yeah, so earlier in the week, I asked the question, have beer reviews had their day? We haven't got as much money in our pockets anymore. The supermarkets have saturated the craft beer market in there. Craft, supermarket, craft beer market. You get two markets in that sentence for one. You're welcome. Didn't cost you anything either. Um, yeah, they saturated. Obviously, the, to begin with, the the drops were really good. They've slow, slowly tailed off to the beer within them are mediocre to okay to some utter shite. Uh, I've just watched a video by a friend of the channel, lovely man, Jonathan Brown, uh, Northern Southerners Beer Reviews, who's done like a uh, his own outlook on the question that I asked. So go and watch Jonathan Brown. Uh, there's a link on the community page of, of Scott Review Scene. So go and give that a watch. Uh, because... Oh, hang on, Wanda, oh, Wanda, oh, Wanda. two seconds. Go on, Wanda. Also been with COVID times. Yeah. It gave something, something to do. I think that's a very good point. So Wanda made the point of... And obviously he was allowed to go to the supermarkets. Yeah. Yeah, so 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 Wanda made made a very good point that during um, COVID times, a lot, some of these channels came up and started because people were looking for things to do. Beer machines were selling like fucking hotcakes. Yeah, absolutely. It was, it was a way of communicating with people, and obviously people got back to their busy lives. Uh, prices of things have gone up. Not necessarily the quality of things gone up. What I should have done is made some notes for that video but I tend not to I just sort of just come from the top of my head uh, but Jonathan Brown I'm hoping he's going to join me in a, a discussion about this uh, at some point in the next couple of weeks um with that in mind I've been to the supermarket and bought a beer there's a new beers in the, the odd beers here and there in some <coughs> excuse me some of the supermarkets there's a neon raptor beer just dropped into Morrison's. I can't get it yet. If you want to see what that's like, go and see Rowie, um, the craft beer basic. There is not a man on the planet that is more desperate for your for, for your view and your sub than Rowie. So pop on over, tell him we've sent you. <laughs> All honesty, great channel, craft beer basic. If you don't watch Rowie, do yourself a favor, go and watch him, incredibly funny man. And what I like, another one that doesn't take it too seriously. So if you want to go and see what that new Neon Raptor, I think it's called Moon Wave or some Moon Wake or something like that, that's in Morrison's, go and see what Rowie thinks of it. He's going to be a little bit biased. He used to work for Neon Raptor. But I went to... He might not be. He might not be. He, he, might, might, think, he might, might think it's shit. Um, out to you, shit house. What are you doing? the dog's gonna knock everything out. With that in mind, went to Sainsbury's and I know they've they've put about four or five new beers into Sainsbury's over the last couple of weeks. There's an am a cherry amaretto sour, which I actually quite like the sound of. And there were some other bits and pieces that I can't remember. But this one stood out for me and then as I picked it up and I was driving home, I had a back of my head said, You've reviewed this. And it's from Salt up in um, Yorkshire. And it, this one is called Let Me Be Your Galaxy. I see Galaxy and you think Star Wars. But yeah. And that's what I'm sure I've done. A single hopped Galaxy IPA from Salt. Because that's what they seem to put into the supermarkets. They've got that thing with the hooch in it in a minute. I'm giving that a wide berth. Uh, so I've had a look back on the channel. And they did do one. It was in Asda. Check the ABV, it's different. So the one in Asda, the single hopped 
IPA in Asda was 5%. This one is 6%. So you would hope it's a different beer. I've just wasted £3.50. And I won't be too happy. Let's have a look and see what's on the can. I don't know how long I've been waffling on for. Christ knows. So let me be your Galaxy Hazy IPA. Now I made, I made a comment in the video about being bored stiff with hazy IPAs, New England IPAs, etc, etc, etc. And then I've gone straight out the shop and bought a hazy IPA. You can't fix stupid. Uh, so salt is up in, salt. I think they're salt air, aren't they? Bingley Road, salt air, um, Yorkshire way. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I've got a salt glass. I'm not going to tell you bought it for me. So, yeah, looking forward to it. And then tonight, we're off to see an Oasis tribute band called Oasis. Oasis. It sounds quite good. Because obviously the real band don't, mind you, Liam Gallagher just plays all the bloody um, Oasis songs now. So <laughs> it's more or less like going to see him anyway. So this is in Sainsbury's. So there's an Amaretto Sour. Uh, cherry amaretto sour from i think the reason i didn't pick it up is it was from tiny rebel and i just thought it could be it could be very nice because cherry amaretto sort of screams bakewell tart to me and i absolutely love a bakewell tart but i didn't bother with this instead so in the glass it's a nice light pale um yellow sort of straw colored nice and hazy Go for a nose Tell you what, that's quite nice. It's got a very fresh and vibrant aroma to it. Juicy. Peachy. A bit of passion fruit and a bit of citrus. Sounds, smells nice. Cheers. There's a nice hoppiness about that. Nice little hop character, a little hop brickle. Very light in the mouth, so it's not heavy. Nice and juicy. Refreshing. A nice citrus burst through that as well. I find these um, single hop beers from salt really quite good to be fair and obviously sort of got a, a pretty decent they've they've had a pretty decent pretty decent um foot stamp in the supermarkets ecat was the beer tram was tremendous liked denim and there's been others over the time that have been really really good so they've not they've not pissed around with the beers they put into the supermarket that's got a really nice bitterness it's got a quite dankness on the um <clears throat> on the palate as well uh, but passion fruit uh, citrusy, that's not bad at all. Let a wild the night away quite happily. And actually, where we're going tonight, uh, the Wedgwood Rooms in Portsmouth, they have is it jute, which is not a bad beer, it's it, not backable. But that's not the one, I mean, we've had some terrible absolutely terrible supermarket beers in the last 18 months or so that isn't one of them that's not bad at all sit and enjoy that before going out there is a little unusually there is a little hint of that six percent abv which is odd but i quite like that anyway let me be your galaxy hazy ip from salt brewing currently in sainsbury's for three pound fifty you can give it a thumbs up I don't mind that. I'm going to sit and enjoy that. Wanda's defluffing a top or summer. I don't know what she's doing. Um, so, yeah, if you like Galaxy Hop and you've got a Sainsbury's near you, why not pop and get one? Or go and support your local tap room, your local brewery, anything you can do. Always, always helps out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. There's a subscribe button somewhere. See you soon.